Hi, my name is Sven and as you can see I've got a, a living in the mountains and for a while now I've been thinking to how to capture the energy of the river that runs a bit further and convert it to electrical energy and so today's the day I figured it out systems up and running and I'm gonna show you how I did it okay so we're in the river now as you can see there's uh, about a little side aqueduct it brings a bit of water here in this system so this is the principle of a gravitational water vortex so I wanted to build something with a minimum um, changes in the river so the only thing that are permanent you can still take them out are these two bolts so what happens is the water is brought into the vortex which is to the let's say the angle to ratio that I found in scientific papers as well as the brakes are at an optimum angle to increase the frequency so the rig brings us up into uh, a gearbox that's got about from, it increases speed from 1 to 10.6 about so I built this design uh, to be able to make it with easy and durable uh, materials so this is all built for a laser cutter. So with a laser cutter, I cut out all the pieces, assemble them with a, a bit of, bit of um, bearings, as well as pockets to put the generator on there. And so when this goes around one time, this goes around 10.6 times. So this is a generator which is rated for 100 watts at 12 volts. Three phases. So these three phases go into the cable and catch up the electrical system. We have three phases coming in here. And this is alternating currents. So let me just check how much we're getting here. So this is somewhere between 9 and 10 volts. Alternating current. This alternating current goes to a bridge rectifier which transforms into direct current so somewhere between 12 and 15 volts. This goes to the, the charge controller and the charge controller makes sure that the battery is not overcharging so always charges in an optimal way. So at this point it's charging at 12.2 volts so this goes through there it charges the battery. And so when I want to charge my phone put this on so uh, obviously there's still some things to improve think, things that I need to think about to increase efficiency power uh, but overall I'm very happy with the results so far um, I mean the gearbox is now a very little box which used to be a, a big bicycle wheel um, there were some challenges with that and now it's compact it's small everyone can build it you just uh, send the plans to a laser cutter and there you go. So what I did really think about this project is that you can, it's mobile, you can just put it in a river, you only need a drop of about 70 centimeters. Uh, it doesn't leave any traces and it produces 100% green energy. So thank you for following me, thank you for your input, for your ideas, for sharing. Uh, keep posted because I'd like to continue building and developing this project. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time.